the cursed baby daddy. I know a lot of guys come on the show and say they're not the baby daddy, but no one in the history of Murray has been more sure than me. That baby look like you. Yes, no, baby. sir. Does it look like me, Murray? I don't know. How uh, would I just, know? just to let you guys know, now, I don't watch anime. The only anime I can watch mostly is like Naruto, Naruto, The Dragon Ball Z, and what else do I watch? Uh, Avatar, is that considered as an uh, anime? Those are the only animes I've watched, so. But I've seen this guy Alrighty, ladies on YouTube before. Welcome to the Shibuya uh, Trial. CJ, she did the, the champ. Let me start that over. Welcome to the Shibuya Trials, where we will be having not one, yeah, but like two a new challenges now. coming to the round. <clears throat> Both challenges are hailing from a series that is absolutely popping off right now. And with the new ranking system we are introducing today, these... Right. Okay, so, total exhibitions, kill count, okay? Violation losses. Violations slash losses. Other crimes, actions, and decisions, total score. Okay. Does best bring the heat? As they come to be judged, will they make it or will they utterly fucking fail? Making his way to yeah, the see. stand right now, challenger one. Coming in at around six foot two, about two hundred pounds of straight raw muscle and pure ignorance. Holy he has shit. already submitted himself into the hall of fame of anime deadbeat dads, and he is competing with Gojo, making these holes fall today. I just have one thought in my mind. In anime, no? When there's like a light skinned guy with like blackish hair or whatever, is that considered an Asian? Like, is that an Asian or is he white that just. Because, like, in my. Like, the way I look at it, I, I don't really. Like, anime characters don't look Asian. Am I wrong? Because I genuinely feel like I've never watched an anime or seen an anime and just thought that person looks Asian. Am I tripping? I don't know. It's just, just, just me though. I'm not joking just about me. this. Some of these Twitter hoes need a literal help. Toji, Bushi girl. So y'all already know we got all that evidence on deck, and it is now time to commence the Shibuya trials. Well, that Let's go. Hey. Warning, spoilers in. <sighs> Toji. Ushi girl, where the hell do I even start? You know what, f*** it. Let's go ahead and get the egregious shit out the way. The nigga sold his son. Holy <laughs> shit, what? holding nothing back with this nigga. Bro said child support. <laughs> That's not familiar. I ain't paying that bullshit. And the thing that makes it worse, he sold the little nigga to the sinning clan. The clan that? that he does not fuck oh, with okay. because they discriminated against his ass. Like, oh, okay. nigga. Selling your son is crazy. But nah, the first time you even see this nigga, bro, bro is out here gambling his motherfucking life away. Bro's partner come up behind him, he like, oh dear. That a dad, man, man. Fuck. Wait, hold on. Let me just skip the ad. Okay, cool. And what's going on with you, boy? I see you out here gambling your motherfucking life away. Hey, nigga, you still see, like, look, look at these guys. Angel, they don't look bro. Asian you know in any form whatsoever. Like a motherfucker. They look and white. obviously, as we can see, bro loses in his parlay just went to shit. And before this man leaves, he asks his Toji the question. Hey, uh, how your son doing? Megumi, yeah. Megumi. Negu. Why is his neck broke like that, bro? That's... Ugh. Yeah, I know who you talking about, bro, bro. Is this nigga serious? This motherfucker that forgot his son's name. Oh my fucking god, bro. Holy fuck! Nigga, how the hell you forget your own son's name? It ain't like you got like 12 motherfucking kids, nigga! You have one son and you forgot that nigga name. Dear God Almighty, I just want to hear the call CPS probably got to have with this nigga. Okay. Hello. Hello, this is CPS, Child Protective Services. Excuse me. I was speaking to Mr. Fushiguro. Uh, yeah. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Fushiguro, as we can see on our records, uh, it seems that um you have not paid your child support in about 48 months. Is everything good, Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah, uh, son, I don't even know who the fuck you talking about. Um, sir, it clearly shows that you have a son on the record. Oh, my God. Um, Mr. Fushiguro, hello? Oh, Lord. Hello? What? Oh, fuck, I gotta take a shit. Hey, quit being a bum-ass nigga! <laughs> uh, 
Now, okay. ladies and gentlemen, this man told you maybe walking around and looking like a bum, but I ain't gonna lie, this man's smart as hell. So he has to hunt down this little girl named Rico because she's a star plasma vessel, and she's got Gojo and Ghetto protecting her, and obviously that's two special grade sorcerers. So Toji puts a bouncy on her head to make a bunch of dudes come after her and make Gojo and Ghetto tire her out. So Toji could basically get the jump on the ass when they MP bar low, because this is not Toji's first running with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Toji wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him trying to get the scouting report, but Gojo's a little ass turn around. Let me see that. Because back in the day, Toji wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him trying to get the scouting report, but Gojo's. What? Hold on. They asked when they MP. Barlow, because this is not Toji's first running with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Toji. He wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him I'm trying to get the. Okay, wait. Shiro. Satoru Goju. Overall, seven position ranking, four points. This, uh, I don't know what this. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. Okay, Scout report, but Gojo's a little ass turned around and he was like, Mommy, there's a stalker behind us. Purple eyelash is insane. He was like, Boy, ain't no way I should be in this Purple eyelash is crazy. But even though this man has stealth 100 and no curse energy, bro still got spotted. So this man knew I gotta tire him out before I sneak his ass. And what do you know, later on when the mission's almost complete, Toji sneaks <laughs> Bro was like, Yeah, got y'all a little pretty ass. You know the hoes gonna love this. This, but now nah, Ghetto ends up throwing out one of his motherfucking Pokemon. Looks like Bro summoned an ugly ass oversized Weedle. But Toji slices this fat ass tapeworm like it was paper. And now we get to observe the first man that this man cooked. Gojo. Believe it or not, this sexy ass nigga got his ass beat. I know all the. Are we just gonna go over the fact that he just said that sexy ass nigger? Oh. I'm gonna have to block that. Holds <laughs> up. I like support seeing Gojo get his ass whooped. So Gojo end up telling him, Hey, bro, the bounty's off of her head, bro. But this man told you, told him, Man, young blood, I took that motherfucker out because I set that bitch. Oh, my God. Bro is a scammer. So Toji starts moving at buck wild speeds with this freak ass physicality because of his heavenly restriction. But this man go. Okay, so here's my question, though. He has all of these abilities. He can, like, run around and shit like that, no? Um... You sold your son before you went to go rob a bank. Like, the cops can't catch you. You can go rob a bank, easily get away, probably dodge all the bullets that the cops are shooting at you. You can probably, you could probably be the best bank robber on the planet. Like, legitimately, you could be the best bank robber to ever f walk this earth. But you decide, I'm going to sell my son for some, for some cash because I've been gambling. Bro, you need to get your priorities straight, bro. You really need to get your priorities straight, like for real. I am not joking. That was this. Anyways, um, like for real, bro. Your, prior your priorities are so out of order. If you think you're gambling for one, number two, you're going you're gonna to sell your son because now you owe money to people. I don't know, bro. Get your priorities straight. <laughs> Toji flying, look at the ragdoll physics. But this did not stop this man at all. Bro is moving like Sonic on that bouncy ass springs. But Gojo said to hell with this and just flattened the entire area thinking he did something. But this man summoned a bunch of nasty ass mosquitoes looking like it's summer time. Those are not the mosquitoes. I don't know what those are. And are. uses it as cover to sneak this nigga. Oh, and this is where all the Gojo girls were on life support. He started stabbing the shit out of this nigga. Bro became Michael Myers. Then he went for the legs. Started that hey. Then he hits him with the hell sweep, then stabs him in the head and slams him on the ground. She sucks. <laughs> Bro, little boy, the fuck out of this nigga. If this was any other person, they would be dead. But nah, bro said, hit the fucking weight room, weak ass boy. So after Toji put this man Gojo on a poster, meanwhile, Ghetto's with Rico, and I ain't gonna <laughs> So then it starts playing this emotional last music with her backstory playing in the background. Like, that ain't a red flag. And she like, oh my god, you're so sweet, huh? Oh, I know I am. Take my hand, shawty. Damn. Yo, that, that took me by surprise. What the f Holy shit. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Give me my goddamn 
There's a thing about anime, I, like I said in the beginning, I, did, I have not watched that many animes in my life, but the thing about anime is like, or animations in general, is like, they will have a specific scene, like, the way he was standing, he was not far away from where they, where they were standing. In my, in my opinion, if someone is standing like, 10 feet away from me, 5 feet away from me, and I'm looking straight, and there's like a woman or whatever in front of me, and I'm like talking to her or talking to a person, and someone's in my peripheral vision that way, to the right or to the left, you know, I'm going to see him. Especially if this person is someone that I know or whatever that's chasing me or like someone that I know and it's just someone standing there, I'm going to see him through my peripheral vision. It's like animations that act as if people are just blind for some reason. Like when they're focusing on one thing, they literally can't see, can't, can't cannot see anything else. That's one thing that sometimes gets me mad. That that got me mad because how did he not see him standing right there? Like he, how did he not see? Him? It makes no sense. But okay. It told you to okay. pump the shit we out of want. this bitch right in front of this man ghetto. And this man told you was like, I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I was hearing all that shit, and I just had to stop you from embarrassing yourself. So ghetto got mad and told him the tank was another Pokemon. Shit, this one looked like a very Gyarados. So it ends up slamming him down into the tombs. But the attack did absolutely nothing to him. Bro has no scratches. And I ain't gonna lie, this next part is nasty as hell. So Toby starts explaining how he be moving with no curse energy and how he be using Sneak 100 without being detected. This man rebukes a cursed spirit that what? he keeps inside of his stomach that basically stores all of his cursed tools. So basically this nigga's inventory is located in his stomach. That's nasty work. Uh -huh. But you know what? If you really think about it, bro really got a video game inventory. So Kato sends his big ass cursed dragon at him again and starts shooting these beams at him. But he starts quick stepping the pose, jumps home, slices the dragon in half, and he's got this man Kato probably shit himself. Does he? I feel like I got I got um clickbaited by the by the by the by the by the title. What we are we skipping over the fact that he sold his son? I thought that was gonna like we just forgot about the fact that he sold this up for some reason. Like, what the hell? Bamboozle, he is like, how's a measly? Also, where's the money? Right now. The is uh, the one on this bridge, Gato pulls out his final attack, and this man brings out the slick mouth woman, asking, what oh, do you with your hell ugly no. ass? But Toji's like, nah, I beat you ugly as shit. He slices that motherfucker up. So then Toji started slicing up Gato, put the X marks the spot on his ass, probably gave him the Luffy chest guard, and 720 turned out, and fucked out this nigga right before the bridge falls. And it was over for bro. GG's. And look at this disrespectful Shit. I'm not gonna lie, just walked over to his if this guy, like, shit out of his on top if CJ was, like, you ugly as shit, was a uh, voice actor for anime, oh, I'd probably watch every anime. anime. And you know what's crazy? Like, if he just did dub TV, dub every anime, I'd probably watch everything. I'm not gonna lie. Really, nigga? But later on, after this, Toji delivers old girl's corpse over to the client, and she ends up getting shattered out like cell shat out I and don't want to see this that. nasty old ass looking nigga like, mm, yes, yes, very cool. What the hell is that thing on your head, bro? And the bitch is not breathing. You got a ball stick on your head, bro. What the hell? I only see me give a bonus. Tell me to bring me my money. Yeah! So while this man told you he's leaving, probably going to the dealership, going to buy the Hellcat, but he ends up seeing this man Gojo looking like a absolute fiend, a straight booty bandit. So I was so told you the that he's purple he like, eyelashes is still throwing me off. It just don't look like it. But why your purple eyelashes? What is that like? I don't know what that is, guys. It's not purple, but it's like a very light pink. What the fuck? This nigga is crazy. So after this man Gojo just finishes yapping for like five minutes about some bullshit out here explaining how he survived. Nigga, we get it. You're broken. Somebody for real need to get the passion on this nigga. Like, bro is actually busted. But told you it's like, ah, oh, hell no, I'm about to send your crackhead ass to Oh, wait, so you telling me. me. All the, wait, I didn't, I didn't get it at first. So that creature or something that he spits out of his stomach holds all of his swords his, and his weaponry. <laughs> He just holds all of, whatever that thing is, it holds his swords. Like, what the, what? Who thought of that? Who just thought, let's have this guy have a creature in his stomach. So who, who was in, like, who was over there who made this anime and was thinking like, oh, let's put a creature in his stomach, 
and then he he throws it up he throws it up and the creature holds all of his inventory like I don't understand I don't understand who came up with that idea how long it took them to come up with the idea like anyone that can think of that must be insane because like must it needs to be in a psychiatric ward like for real I'm not even joking that's a problem it's a big problem not gonna lie he started attacking but it was too hard this motherfucker did not lock ultra instinct bro said bag your ass up nigga Red. man told you that got blasted and bro is floating what type of shrooms is he on this is a level of high that is just unexplainable i told you was like oh hell no nah. i ain't about to lose no pretty ass nigga oh he started whipping the chain but bro, just look at this time has just slowed for bro bro said we what are you supposed to do about this? How do you fight this? I ain't gonna lie, if I was told you, I would have just gave up. There is no point of fighting this broken ass nigga. But it was too late. Gojo hit him with the purple. Oh no, this nigga's too sexy. And sadly, this man Toji got a hole blown through him. But then Gojo come down and say, Any last words, bro? Fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. But also, tell me. See what I mean, bro? Like, it's so much, like, I feel like anime would be so much more enjoyable if they tried to make it funny. A lot of other people say that anime can't be funny. Dad, wait a minute. I have a dad? Oh, no. Dad, you're not funny. Exhibit A wrap up. Selling his son. Dodging child support. Trespassing. Scamming niggas. Attempted murder. Murder. Attempted murder. Trafficking. Exhibit B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our grandiose finale. Daddy's home. We now shift our focus to 12 years later on a gruesome Halloween night in the Shibuya district. Now, as we can see, all hell is broke loose. Niggas is getting stuck. But we shift our focus over to this old lady, her grandson, and Eno, or what I like to call him the shiesty sorcerer. So while Eno and her grandson are throwing hands, the old lady in the back is doing some damn witchcraft. She's basically a necromancer. So she ends up reviving Toji in her grandson's body so he could use Toji's body. Nigga, what the fuck? You know what? I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I do not know JJK's power system like that. You what? I can already hear the JJK fans typing on their fucking keyboards like, boo you, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Boo me, nigga. Hey, all I just know is old oh, lady with nigga, 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 blah, 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 and the nigga's back. But anyways, this man Eno tries to attack him, but Toji takes his sights, he punches him in the face, and grabs him by the collar, and stares in his soul like, oh, fake-ass gangster wearing this damn shiesty. Shut the load, dumbass up. And who bro off of the skyscraper? My god. Look at Itadori looking at bro like, oh, Brody, you got your ass beat and your shiesty snatched? Who could have done this? But here is when this gets absolutely insane. So the old lady like, oh yes, <laughs> excellent work, grandson. Now go down there and kill all those sorcerers for Granny. But her grandson start twitching and glitching, and then the unthinkable happened. Bro what? turns around and says, what did you say, nigga? <laughs> but yeah, uh, this man told you he's in full control now. Bro's body is so damn strong, probably from the heavenly restriction. He basically just little bro the grandson soul and snatch that nigga body and then just look at this bro hell no and just Holy standing shit. over her like night night old bitch oh lord sweet jesus <laughs> Damn. So after Toji just murdered a senior citizen, later on, Nanami, Megumi, Maki, and Naobito are trying to run away from Dagon in his Bikini Bottom Ass domain expansion because they was getting their ass beat. But while they trying to get out, a hole opens and a father finally came home. 
to bring back that milk. So the first thing this man Toji does is grabs Maki's weapon and starts tugging that shit like, give me that shit. And just yanks it away from her like taking candy from a baby. And while he's walking towards Dagon, now Obito ends up realizing, oh, oh, sweet. I never seen Nunchuck with three points. And this man was just walking like a Terminator, a literal killing machine. So Dagon, so ugly ass looking like Squidward in a Mind Flayer fuse, started thinking, oh, he has no curse energy. <laughs> This is barbecue chicken. But my man was about to get cooked and served into a gourmet food at a seafood joint. Though Dagon turns pregnant, he shoots out this fat ass eel. But Toji slaps it and splits the sea like Moses. And damn! Yes. Hogs! He hit this man so hard, he indented his face and lifted his ass ten toes off the ground. So he sends him flying and starts hawking him down on the water and beat his ass with these nunchucks. He got this buff ass octopus fighting for his life. And then look at this, he ends up sending out these piranhas And one lands on his face But she bit that nigga You know how raw you gotta be to bite a damn piranha? Oh nah But then he hits him with his pregnant stomach again And he ends up trapping him and sending him underwater And a bunch of piranhas start nibbling on him Then this fat ass water bug comes from the depths of the ocean And sends him flying But so he chops up all the piranhas And tells the water bug Shoot your ass down and then this is where the fight just got brutal. Now they're on what shore, I mean? and Toji just starts walking the bro, and just starts beating the shit out of him, just hitting him over and over again. He even wrapped up on bro and drop kicked his ass. So then he started sharpening these damn nunchucks, ready to take the life out of man's bro said, anybody down for some fried calamari? So Dagon ends up becoming pussy and tries to dip so he doesn't become seafood, but now Bito stops him, and Toji jumps up and stabs him in the head. And this is where Toji's voice actor. You stabbed him with the Namcha. What? Like that's that's power, man. You stab someone with such a blunt object. That's crazy. Red Lobster's new lobster and shrimp celebration. Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after this man Toji turned Dagon into fried calamari, it was time for uh some father-son bonding. So Toji looks at Megumi and just throws him out the window. And poor Megumi, because goddamn, it was time for some tough love. I was looking at him like, what's good, little nigga? Before I died, I hope to God you became a raw-ass nigga. So let's test your game for young blood. And I know he ain't know this was his son. But God damn, he was whooping his ass. Look at him running at him. Bro started blocking his attacks with one hand and backhanded him. Head him and everything. So then Megumi summoned the Rayman Raving Rabbit. And then this is where the animation was just cracked out. Bro stepped on the ground, got a bunch of debris from the ground, and basically made him bullets and started shooting all the rabbits out here committing animal cruelty. That's broken. The Octo, what? Nigga. And now the Rayman raving rabbits. I know the Peter hotline going crazy right now. Then told you just continued to beat the hell out of bro. He basically hit him with the Lord, thank God, tell you to fucking around. Like, my lord, this giving me some bad memories. I remember I never failed to test again after my dad pulled the bed on me and first grade. Like, look at him, bro, even throw a tracoon at him. But then Toji ends up stabbing him, but then he bags off and just starts looking at his little shaky ass like, oh, nah, that's my boy. So then he started remembering how he sold him, thinking that it was the best form, and the dead mama in the background like, take care of Megumi, honey. So then Toji says, yeah, fuck that. I'm not paying that fucking child support. What the fuck? Smoke, nigga. Damn. Bro would rather off himself than pay that child support. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our first trial. And with very valid, clear cut. No, 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 no. That makes no sense. You have all of this power, right? You came back from the dead, right? Um. But then by a bunch of piranhas, fought a squid thingy, Vogax looking ass, right? You stab yourself in the head one time, one time, after all the shit you've been through, right? And you die immediately. Makes no sense. I don't believe it. Nope. I don't believe it. Not true. Evidence. Not true. Mr. Fushi Girl makes this with ease. Okay, let's see. Uh, to total ex. Okay, kill count is four. Um, violations, losses. 
you lost about negative one times, right? What? Other crimes, actions, and decision, total scores 30. Okay. One trial down, one to go. When will it drop? I don't know, bro. Is this nigga serious? No, fuck it, bro. Hey, if y'all like this video, I'll drop this whole sometime next week. In the meantime, go up to my group channel with me and my bro. All right. I don't know what to say, bro. I'm done.